Welcome to our new video. In this video we will continue with the Spring Authorization Server. Today we are going to store authorizations and authorization consents in a database. This way we won't lose the data if we need to restart the Spring Authorization Server. As in previous videos, we will first look at the result. We open our project in a browser window 127.0.0.1 port 8090. As you can see, our app has been extended with two new buttons. View authorizations and view authorization consents. First we have to log in with user and password. After logging in we get to see the consent page where we can approve the scopes. If all is well we are now logged in and can view all the data. The call resource server 1 and call resource server 2 buttons still work as in the previous videos. The user info button also still works. We can now press the 5 buttons one by one and look at the result. You will see that we don't have that much data yet because we just started a new database and a newly started project. It is not the intention to go through all the data, I just want to show how to save the data and make it visible again. We are back in Eclipse and can now look at the new and modified code. In the security config class, we removed the OAuth2 authorization consent service by making it comments. Nothing else has changed here. Then we have the new class authorization config with two new beans. JDBC OAuth2 authorization service and JDBC OAuth2 authorization consent service. Last we have the schema SQL file. We extended this file with two new tables. OAuth2 authorization and OAuth2 authorization consent. You can find on the website spring.io all the info on how to configure the tables. You can find the link in the description below this video. This was it for today, in the next video we will continue. We are then going to store the keys to create the tokens in a database. At a later stage we are then going to rotate the keys so we can build in an extra security. And even further in the future we are going to start with two-factor security. Thanks to our channel and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss anything from our channel. Thank you.